Hey. What? But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy? Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, well, what is ah! 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda, I wanted to, I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, 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 All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. 
Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. I think they're in here. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. oh whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh, come on, my punk days are long behind. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Great, now, ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, oh, ah, ah, ow. Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God, Papa Bear, what's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I, I would have brought a camera crew. Uh. Ah, let me get to work. Uh. Uh. Uh, look, are you going to tell me what you're drawing, or, or is it a surprise? Uh. How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Uh. Uh. There we go. Uh. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can... Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Oh, gee, That's better. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity. Oh, oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health, so I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine batting. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate you. Oh! Yeah, to show your family you've changed. Way. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. 
I can tort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, OK? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, OK? We got some issues we got to iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right, I'm deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. 
I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home, then? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Cath Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. What? Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work it. The famous getaway driver, Michael Townley. We work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do... Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Morning after the night before. You're a total moron. Oh my god. Whatever. You are so hella disgusting. Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! 
Trevor. Don't let me call the oh, cops I here. miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, eh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Need a cab, pronto. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. I'll be here. Stop your fucking car! Where can I take you? Vinewood Hills. Okay, buddy. There you go. I can't fucking deal with this! Do you have any testicles? What? Look me in the eye! You make me sick! I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh. You know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. <laughs> Oh, I love you! Oh, let me take you away from all of this! You mm. stupid psycho! He was gonna impregnate my eggs by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick 
I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! I'll get you. Mmm! You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! this. Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! Okay, he'll jack me off into a cop, slap me around. We got options, baby. In your face! You are just perfect, crazy cakes. demands that we rut like beasts. Oh, God! Bury the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Ah, you! You pull oh, off! Is that supposed to impress me? What are you doing? Fuck! Where did you come from? I've had it with weak white men! You're so gonna crash! Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, he'll jack me off into a cop, slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect!
Let me enable you! Oh, yeah! Like Woo! I win! Come on! Come on, what? what? Dude? Sex reward! That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! You're a total moron. How are you allowed to walk the streets, moron? I'm sorry. Hey, it's cool. I'm digging your car. Fuck me. Boss. Hey, let me ask you something, great unearther of conspiracies. Sure, shoot. Why didn't you see the big lie right under my nose? Michael fucking Townley. Is he Illuminati or Anunnaki? No! Oh, he's a lizard! Oh boy, I knew it. He's not a lizard. He's a liar and a cheat. Ah! Uh I thought we knew that! Brad's dead! The letters! Written by the feds! Shit, the feds? What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Got you for failing to figure this out? I'm thinking about it. Mr. Chang. Mr. Phillips. I hear your lover left us. Yeah. What's with that? I thought you were going to get rid of him for me. More of my men die, Mr. Phillips. I have put them on your account. You will soon have to pay. No, oh, well, I'm good for it, pal. You know where to find me.
just wax this puppy! Listen, nobody likes you. I see you. <laughs> Why, hello. Just bad luck, kid. There you are.
Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Hey, yo! I'm over here! It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. For me, it's a bad idea. I'm gonna knock some sense into you. It's best to downtown units. Civilians are useless piece of shit.
Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing an office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. And we keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? So you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a... Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us.
Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? God, I mean, other damn. than... I love your car. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? No, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, I'll... Yo, How about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! What are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! That's what being fucked in the ass feels like! How you like that? Fuck you, asshole! Ha ha! Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy! You've raised a great kid, Mr. Suck. Very entrepreneurial! Yeah, Dad! Go, Daddy! for loving her! That ain't love! It's the internet! You're a cyber creep! You're right, you're right! I'm getting help! Don't kill me! Run, you little bastard! All the way out of town! I'll leave the state! I promise! I'm going to Thailand! I mean rehab! She'll never see me again. No one will!
happened, Daddy? Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. They shouldn't let old people drive cars. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. We've dealt with that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? Keyed up, okay? I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. You got lucky, buddy. You fucking dick.
Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Hillbox Hill. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey, pal. Yo. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh Let's go God. now. Let's go on the other. Hey. Forgive me. A moron! Film that shit, Christ!
Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. 
Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Okay, okay, the airport. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Ah. What's she doing? Telling me she's gone crazy.
On the floor, lady! On the fucking Clear floor! Hanger. I'm just a white-collar criminal, but he's a real one! I think you need some help right now! Out of my way! Hey, 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 oh, here. stop! Oh. Look out! I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? 
Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. I'm still alive, in case you're wondering. <coughs> if I don't live to 200, I'm gonna sue these juicer fucks. <coughs> Ugh, the things we do for our health. Drinking grass, really? Hey, you good? Yes, I think so. For a family that cook in microwave, you use a lot of pots. Hey, Ava. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, Ava. You keep looking after us. All good with you? I think so. I feel we're making progress. I love you, Trace. Hey, Trace.
Amanda. Hey, Michael.
Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. <laughs> 